Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shrothinator here, and I'm here to talk about the new EA Sports UFC 2 stand-up attributes that were released yesterday. Uh, sorry I didn't make a video yesterday and put it up then, but I mean now it's better than ever, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, they put out the top 10 uh, first on Twitter, then they also, um, of course, put all the stuff. If you go back and look at the roster, they'll no longer say like question marks or just a blank for the stand-up attribute. They actually say they're overall for it. Um, it doesn't tell you like their power or their speed for it or anything or how good their clinch game is. It just shows you simply the stand-up overall. Now I'm gonna list the top 10 stand-up fighters from going from number 10 to number 1. Okay, you ready for this ridiculous list? Number 10 is Jose Aldo, 9 Chris Weidman, 8 TJ Dillashaw, 7 Dominic Cruz, 6 Robbie Lawler, 5 Holly Holm, um, 4 Demetrius Johnson, 3 Luke Rockhold, 2 Joanna Jojacek, and number 1 Conor McGregor. Now you might say like, oh, some of those make sense to be on the top uh, stand-up fighters. Well, let me tell you what their overalls are. Aldo has a 96 overall. Well, hold on. Jose Aldo, Chris Wyman, TJ Dillashaw, Dominic Cruz, and Robbie Lawler all have a 96 overall for stand-up. Then you got Holly Holm, Demetrius Johnson, Luke Rockhold at 97 overall. Joanna Jojacek at 98 overalls for stand-up, and Conor McGregor at 99. Now, you may be thinking, like, oh, well, Conor's super fast and strong at featherweight for a stand-up fighter. Yeah, but I don't think he's ever knocked someone out with a kick. I wouldn't give his power for kicking, um, not all the way at least, like a decent amount, yeah, for sure. Make his punching power like just below max um, for um, for his featherweight version. Like his lightweight version is 92 um, for stand up. But yeah, like it, it also incorporates the clinch game, so it's it doesn't make sense, and it's it shouldn't even be close to possible for Conor McGregor to have a 99 stand up that's retarded because I mean. He obviously doesn't have the greatest clinch ever. His stand-up should be like a 94, in all honesty, because his his speed should be um close to max, not not like just one below, but fairly close to max. Um for um kicking speed and then maybe like right by max for punching speed. And maybe right by max for um punching power, of course, as well. And you know, again with like kicking power, not amazingly close, but like maybe like four or five away from max for kicking power. And then his clinch game should be below average in all honesty. Average or below average. If they want to be generous, make his clinch game average. <laughs> because he's not a grappler by any means. We haven't seen enough from him grappling wise to even consider him to be decent at grappling. Um. Well, we also we saw that he was bad on the ground against Mendez. People were like, oh, but Mendez is a great wrestler. Yeah, he's a great wrestler, but Mendez didn't even try to do anything in the guard. He just laid on top of him, and Connor couldn't get up or move or anything. So that's why Connor shouldn't have a stand up of 99 because. In the stand-up game, it um well aspect of martial arts in the video game, uh, it incorporates the clinch game as well. So it makes zero sense for him to have a 99 stand-up overall. Joanna, kind of the same. Like it, her clinch shouldn't be that high, though. I think her overall stand-up should be better than Connor's because you know it's it's different stats for a straw weight and a feather weight. Or even a you know a straw weight and a fly weight like they're just gonna be straight up different stats because of weight class like straw weight's gonna have um, a higher stat for speed and less you know a lower stat for power basically than a fly weight. Um. So yeah, like her her stand up like I think Connor should be a 94. 
because it incorporates a clinch game. And then you got Joanna Jojacek at 98, but I think her stand-up should be around 96, maybe. Maybe. Um, then you got Luke Rockhold at 97. I mean, Luke Rockhold can stand and bang with people. He can, he can definitely stand up with people. There's no doubt about that. But 97... I don't, I don't know about that. But his clinch game is very well. So it kind of makes a little bit more sense. I would say Rockhold, maybe about a 95 for stand-up. That's what I would rate it. Then Demetrius Johnson at a 97. I can't disagree with that a whole lot, in all honesty, because he's unbelievably fast. I would have his speed stats, like for kicks at least, like maybe one below... Um, like literally maybe one one little attribute lower than max for kicking speed and then maybe his punching speed at max in all honesty same with movement speed um his power though i wouldn't make it too too high because i, I don't you know mighty mouse doesn't have the best knockout power though he he just has to time the right punch and hit him fast enough and then he can knock him out so, I don't know exactly where I'd put his power. Maybe, like, five below for both. Kicking and punching. Uh, below max. Maybe six below for, um, kicking power. Not exactly sure. But his clinch game is very good. Overall, everything else is phenomenal. Besides his power, basically. So, 97. I'd say 97. Maybe a high 96 for... Mighty Mouse. So I think they did overall his stand up overall at least pretty well. I don't know about the in depth stats or not. Um, Holly Holm at a 97. Um, again, I I don't think we really seen her clinch much. It's kind of like a Connor thing with Holm, except I think her clinch is definitely better than Connor's because she actually did kickboxing um, for a bit, I believe. So, and also, um, kickboxers use the clinch. Not that they always use the clinch, but I mean, they have more experience with the clinch than boxers such as Connor does. So, I don't know, I'd say Holm at a 96, 9, yeah, I'd say a stand of 96 for Holm. Robbie's at a 96, and, I mean, I think his clinch is, uh, either average or a little bit above average. Um, of course, power for Lawler. My god. I wouldn't put his speed that high, but I wouldn't put it that low either, because he can actually punch fairly fast for a guy that throws a lot of power shots. Um, so, like, I think 96 is a decent spot for Lawler's um, stand-up overall, I would say. You got Dominic Cruz at 96. His movement, his speed. Um, decent, like, I wouldn't say great power, but he's got some okay power and everything. Um, clinch game, great. So I think 96, maybe even 97, maybe, uh, would be good for him. Dillashaw um, at a 96, I don't really agree with that. Though, he, eh, I don't know, like, you saw him stand up against Burrell twice already, and Burrell was undefeated for, like, 10 fucking years. Before and yeah, Dillashaw was the only person to beat him, let alone twice in ten years. Something like that. I think it was around ten years, maybe even longer. Yeah, Dillashaw's clutch game is good. Um, overall stand up's pretty decent. I would I would put Dillashaw's stand up around ninety five or so. Um, maybe put it at a low ninety six. Chris Wyman's at a 96. Now, I disagree with this pretty uh, pretty strongly to put it up there, especially if you're talking about with Aldo and having John Jones in the game and not being on the top 10 for stand-up or even Anderson on there or Condit or um, Anthony Pettis. You could be talking about Steven Thompson. Those guys should be on there instead of Wyman. Wyman's a great fighter, of course, but... Or stand up specifically, that's retarded. <laughs> I, I did tell the devs about how, how I disagree strongly with these uh, overalls, and I told them that this is so far, this is the worst part of the game is these stand up overalls. They're kind of ridiculous. Um, so, Chris Wyman in 96, 
great clutch game, of course, uh, for grappling specifically. Striking, wouldn't say amazing, so. Um, you also got, you know, good punching power for him. And then his speed's not that great. I would actually put Wyman's stand up at like a 92 at best. Also, Jose Aldo, you got it at 96. I honestly think his stand up should be around 97 at the very least. You know, his clinch game is absolutely amazing off the charts. Then you got his um, his overall stand up is just ridiculous. His clinch is ridiculous. 97 or 98 for Aldo. I mean, they only have him lower because he got punched by just one random punch that he got caught with. That's the only reason that he doesn't have the best stand-up, basically, in the game. Um, you know, Jones should be on that top 10 list. Steven Thompson probably should be. Um, that's basically it. I just want to tell you guys what I thought about the top 10 specifically for stand-up fighters and also... I'll put a link in the description for you guys to, um, so you guys can finally see where they rank and everything, or see the entire roster for their stand-up attributes. So thank you all so much for watching, make sure you hit that like button, also comment, let me know what you thought about it all, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you all next time.